Hua Jing is a drama that's based on uh, real events and facts around the uh, situation with Huawei in terms of what it's uh, doing or not doing in the world right now. Um, there are some fictional elements, but by and large it is the story of uh, what is going on behind the curtain of that story. Michael Freeman. Uh, Jeremy Spader is a businessman who has a What drew me to this story was the, uh, in part, the, uh, the intrigue involved around it, but also um, its part in what is a larger uh, injustice that's being, you know, perpetrated in China, which uh, I uh, am always attracted to stories about uh, social injustice or uh, stories about underdogs or people that are struggling against uh, some larger force. Um, I always find that fascinating. Humans are always being tested in terms of their loyalty in some way, and some stay true to themselves and others wander off the path. Well, I think that it's, it's a kind of art that I like. I mean, I think this is a good use of film and television, that it tells, uh, it is based on a real world that we live in, that we read in our newspapers, we watch in the news, and to have it, have it dramatized in this way, and I think that's, that's, in, that's part of the job of a cultural expression, is to be able to put forward a point of view or to add to the ongoing conversation of who we are. And, uh, and who we are means like, where are we? What are we doing? How does this look? It then gives us a chance in a democratic country to actually either form our opinions about who we're going to vote for and how, because that government's got poli foreign policy. You know, it, it, it simply adds to our information about the world we live in, in a real way, and who we are, and how much we can affect it, or not affect it, and what, if anything, we can do about it. But for me, that's, that's entertainment. I have no problem with that being entertainment that leads us to the real world, as opposed to away from the real world. I think the entire U.S. government is fed up with China going afoul of international laws. They just arbitrarily sentenced the Canadian to death. There's no telling where this retaliation will end. I play Feng Wenzhou in the project China's Truth, and her character is based off the real life character Meng Wenzhou, who is the CFO of Huawei and the daughter of the original founder. And as we know, that's a very hot story right now, not just in Canada, but internationally, because she has been arrested and detained and is waiting uh, to see if there will be an extradition to the United States. So there is kind of a, a war going on between China and Canada, and I guess America is in the middle right now. So it's a very relevant story, I think, and um, it's unique in the way that it's kind of happening and being filmed live time while this event is still unfolding. Ms. Feng Xiaozhou, I am releasing you on bail forthwith. Yeah. Ms. Feng. Can I ask you a few questions? Ms. Fung. I think she's a very ambitious woman. I think she's a very brave woman. I think she is doing what is required of this world, which is to tell truths that may be difficult to say, um, but that are very important because they affect people around the world. I'm taking a risk covering this story, Ryan. A big one. But this is a democracy. Reporters write the truth, editors allow that truth to be published. The legal system operates without interference, full stop. A country full of rich executives with all their luxury goods and no real freedom for them or anyone else is not worth a damn.
So I play uh, the character Ryan Lowe in the project China's Truth. Um, he is the junior PR manager at Hua Sing, which is the company that is the, it's the subject of the story. He's also the uh, boyfriend and partner of Jane Lee. Miss Lee's parents are actually in China right now visiting family, are they not? <coughs> yes. Sorry, how did you know that? <laughs> it would be unfortunate if a few articles published in a Canadian newspaper were to cause such innocent people any difficulties. <clears throat> Knowledge has always been power. And the more you know about the world surrounding you, the more power you have in every decision you make. So what, when this gets broadcasted, I'm just hoping that people have the opportunity to see a different point of view. We won't convince everybody, but if it makes you think, if it makes you take pause, then it's just another extra piece of information that will help you make decisions, make judgments, and uh, maybe affect the way your perspective of the world. I just talk to people I know in my life or average people about say Huawei or 5G technology many people have no idea really what's going on they just they say well I just assume that my phone is going to be better it's going to be easier to use I'm going to I'm not going to have to plug it in to charge it anymore um, uh, or they're or they're worried about the technology side of it a little bit like will I get more brain waves that are going to cause cancer but how it's has come to be developed and all the other uses that say China can find for it in terms of uh, the cyber world and their and their aspirations to be a superpower um, the average person doesn't really grasp this simple easy to use make our life much easier technology comes with a big price <laughs>